Formula One, the world's greatest motorsport competition. In its near 70 year history, we have witnessed many a fantastic moment. Last week, I started counting down my top 100 Formula One moments of all time with my top 10 favorite race starts. This week, we continue the countdown as we continue looking forward towards the opening race of the new season on March 17th, where we head to Australia. My name is Frozen McKenzie, otherwise known as Kenzie Retro, an avid fan of Formula One for over 20 years. Join me and continue this journey as I continue counting down my top 100 Formula One moments of all time. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Kenzie Retro here, and welcome to week two of my top 100 Formula One moments of all time. Last week we went through my top 10 favorite race starts. This week, we're going for something a bit quicker. Now, what could that be? Could it be pole positions? Could it be a crash? Or could it be something else entirely? Well, this week, it's that third option. They're very quick, you've got to be on the ball, and And so, without further ado, it is time to count down my top 10 pit stop moments. Now, with regards to the pit stop wonders, there are so many factors when it comes to making that perfect pit stop. The tyre changes need to be on point at least to at most two and a half seconds if you're quick. It's not very often you get to see a sub two second pit stop that Sebastian Vettel pulled off last season. But we're not talking about the successive moments. We're talking about those shocking, hilarious, and bizarre moments. And so, without further ado, let's get into the honorable mention for my top 10 pit stop wonders. Canada 2008, Lewis Hamilton's second season, 12 months on from his first race win, which was at the same circuit. It was chaos and carnage with the infamous wall of champions. The safety car was out at this point in the race. Kimi Raikkonen and Hamilton had both come in to make their stop. Pit stop went as planned, they got refueled, they changed their tyres, but the red light was on. Kimi Räikkönen managing to stop, Hamilton not so much. Damaging his front wing, damaging Räikkönen's car, taking them both out of the race. And who went on to win this race? Robert Kubica who makes his return this season with the Williams team. Robert Kubica winning the race, but Hamilton's pit stop blunder with Raikkonen would turn out to be only his second retirement in Formula One history. Now the reason why this is an honorable mention is because it didn't actually happen during the main pit stop phase itself, it happened after the pit stop phase. But nevertheless, on to the top 10. We're heading back to the era of the V10s now and Ferrari's dominant run. To be more specific, the 2003 Austrian Grand Prix. Michael Schumacher on pole position for that race, and it was pretty much business as usual, start to finish. But one thing that stands out about this race is what happened during the pit stops. 
everything was going as normal. Michael managed to get his tyres changed, but the car ended up catching fire. How on earth that happened remains to be seen. Thankfully, the team managed to get the fuel hose out, put out the fire, and they managed to get Michael away safely. Sadly though, he only had about five seconds of fuel in the car from that stop, so he had to come back in. Thankfully, no issues on the second time around. And he went on to win the race. Number nine now, 2007 Spanish Grand Prix. Now, this was back in Hamilton's debut season, only his fifth race. In Formula One and while Massa went on to win the race with Hamilton second and Alonso third where's the pit stop blonde I hear you ask just ask BMW Sauber driver Nick Heidfeld He could have finished fourth, but what happened was his right front wheel wasn't properly secured during his pit stop. Therefore, he had to coast round the circuit, make another stop to get it fixed, putting him pretty much a lap down. Absolutely devastating for Heidfeld as he was on for his fourth successive fourth place finish. And while that didn't happen, who knows what would have happened throughout the rest of the season had he been able to get that fourth successive fourth place finish. <laughs> Silverstone 2011 next for number 8 and there was actually a couple of small yeah. Yeah. number 8 now and it's Silverstone 2011 now this had a couple of incidents as a result which does give it some extra points because it didn't have just one pit stop one but it had two Kamui Kobayashi ended up running over a wheel gun which resulted in him getting a penalty for an unsafe release but what happened afterwards was with the Force India team Paul DeResta ended up being delayed in the pits because the team were expecting his teammate Adrian Sutil therefore having Sutil's tyres ready instead of DeResta's now this is similar to a mistake made in the 2010 German Grand Prix but we'll talk about that one at a later date and it caused havoc for the Force India team they had to put Sutil's tyres away and bring the rest us out and who knows how long that would have taken In the end, Alonso getting Ferrari's first win in 2011 at the circuit, Vettel second, Weber third, 
Hamilton fourth, Massa fifth. But it's the two pit stop blunders that we're talking. But it's pit stop blunders we're talking about today. And this is, and this had not one, but two. Number seven now, and it's Hungary 2009. Now, this was the weekend that saw Felipe Massa sustain a head injury during qualifying and pretty much ruled him out for a majority of the remainder of the season. Thankfully, he would make, go on to make a full recovery and went on to have a stellar end to his career. But the pit stop blunder we're talking about here is with Fernando Alonso and his Renault. Alonso pitted on lap 12, stationary for 6.4 seconds. He was released when his front right wheel wasn't correctly attached, which caused the wheel mounted duct brake duct or spinner, as they had back then, to rotate while the wheel was turning. The duct then fell off and disintegrated on turn four as Alonso continued to go around the circuit. And then at turn nine on the same lap, the wheel then left his car, causing Alonso to drive back to the pits on three wheels, three wheels on his wagon. The missing wheel was replaced, enabling him to continue in the race. But a fuel pump problem earlier in the race ended up becoming too serious for Alonso to continue. So in so a double hammer blow for Alonso. The pit stop blunder and the fuel and the fuel problems causing him to retire from the race. Sticking with the 2009 season now, and we are off to This is Brazil! To quote Vin Diesel from the Fast and Furious films. Now the pit stop blunder here happened not too long after the race started. Koblan was re released from his pit while the fuel hose was still attached to his car, taking it with him, and a spray of fuel ended up on the pit lane. Raikkonen's exhaust ignited the fuel. Thankfully, nobody injured. And both drivers were able to continue once the brawl mechanics extracted the McLaren fuel hose from Kovalainen's car. How often do you see that sort of sportsmanship? Not very. But while we're on the subject of Braun, they managed to end up winning not only the Constructors' Championship, but also the Drivers' Championship as well. Overall, a strong weekend for the Braun team and a strong season for one of the greatest stories in the history of Formula One. But again, like I said in one of my previous entries, the pit stop blunders are what we're on about here. And it's Kovalainen's pit stop blunder that makes it on the list. We're into the top half of the list now. And we're heading back to 1994. The year that Michael Schumacher went on to win his first of seven world titles. But more on that later on in the Top 100 Countdown. One of the scariest pit stop blunders I had ever witnessed. Bearing in mind I'm 25, I was just over a year old at the time when I first started watching Formula One. 
it was a very scary moment when Jos Verstappen came in, made his stop, went to refuel his car, but what happened afterwards was the scary part. Some fuel accidentally sprayed onto the hot bodywork and for a few seconds the fuel had ignited causing Verstappen's car to be engulfed in flames and only he only escaped with burns around his eyes as he had his visor up during the pit stop. And that's why you're always told to keep the visor down because you never know what's going to happen because if something comes and hits you in the eyes or ends up burning you, you've only got yourself to blame because you didn't listen. Thankfully, none of the other cr thankfully nobody escaped with thankfully nobody was severely injured or killed. And who went on to win this race as a result of Benetton's bad weekend? Well, it would be Gerhard Berger with the Ferrari team. David Coulthard getting the fastest lap of the race, or Williams? Olivier Panis and Eric Bernard for the Ligier team rounding up the podium. But what people remember the most, what people will remember, I can't remember what's that. What people will remember most from this weekend is that huge fireball incident at Jos Verstappen's pit stop. We're into the top four now and gutting weekend for Daniel Ricciardo. What happened here? Well, the Red Bull team asked, where's his tyres? They were ready to make a pit stop for him, but the tyres weren't ready. And as a result, Daniel Ricciardo ended up losing what could have potentially been a race win for the Red Bull team. This happened at the 2016 Monaco Grand Prix, a track infamous for being very difficult to overtake on. But who knows what would have happened if Ricardo's pit crew hadn't messed up the pit stop. Now I'm going to combine number three and number two into one entry which is technically cheating because it would mean I would only have eight, actually nine transitions instead of 10. Anyway, let's not worry about that because these two incidents are practically similar. They didn't necessarily happen at the same race, but pretty much the same thing happened. But if I had to rank them, number three, 2011 Chinese Grand Prix. Red Bull started their dominant run in 2010, winning both the World Drivers' Championship and Constructors' Championship that season. 2011, early on in the season, Jensen Button with McLaren ended up driving into the Red Bull pit garage only to realise, ah, I'm in the wrong garage. And the McLaren garage was just one door up. This resulted in Button losing a place to Red Bull. And it was quite hilarious to watch. But number two was even funnier. For me. Because what happened here was Lewis Hamilton 
at the 2013 Malaysian Grand Prix ended up going into the McLaren garage to make his stop. Bear in mind he's bearing in mind he was at Mercedes at the time. So what happened there? Lewis ended up stopping at his own as his at his old team's pit garage. Mercedes were a few doors down. And McLaren ended up making a joke of it afterwards. Saying something along the lines of You're welcome here anytime. Or something to that extent. So if I had to rank those two because pr practically similar thing happened. It was, it would be number three, China 2011, and number two, Malaysia 2013. Right, before we get into the number one, it is time to go into the top ten recap with the honorable mention. So the honorable mention for this top ten pit stop one list is the 2008 Canadian Grand Prix. Number ten, the 2003 Austrian Grand Prix. Number nine, the 2007 Spanish Grand Prix. Number eight, the 2011 British Grand Prix. Number seven, the 2009 Hungarian Grand Prix. Number six, the 2009 Brazilian Grand Prix. Number five, the 1994 German Grand Prix. Number four, Monaco 2016. Number three, China 2011. And number two, Malaysia 2013. Now, what could number one possibly be? Well, I think this one's pretty much a no brainer But nevertheless, on to the number one pit stop blunder of all time, in my opinion. It's safe to say, when it comes to making a good first impression, you only get one shot at it. You only get one shot to make a good first impression. First race in Singapore, first ever night race. It was the 800th, it was the 800th race of Formula One's history. And it did not disappoint. Excitement, drama, and one of the greatest pit stop blunders ever, in my opinion. Singapore 2008. Some bizarre rules in place. Meaning, you had to wait until the pit lane was open to make your stop while the safety car was in effect. Thankfully, they did away with that rule, as refueling is no longer allowed in the sport. But this wasn't without its controversy. Now, I could have easily had this race in my top 10 controversial moments. But we wouldn't find out about how controversial it was until the following year, at the same race. What people most remember about this, minus the controversial moments, which had Renault ordering Nelson Piquet Jr. to crash on purpose just after Fernando Alonso had made his pit stop. And as a result, what happened there? Safety car was brought out. Alonso started to make his way towards the front of the pack. And Singapore, like Monaco, a difficult place to overtake on, it resulted in one of the scariest pit stop blunders I'd ever seen. And one of the most amazing as well. What happened was while Massa was making his pit stop for the Ferrari team, 
His pit stop light turned green while his fuel hose was still attached to the car. He ripped the fuel hose off its socket completely. And as a result, ended up dragging the entire fuel hose right down to the end of the pit lane. And this resulted in Massa being so far down the pack, he wasn't able, he wasn't going to get his race win. Alonso took that race win, he was allowed to keep it. But after Nelson Piquet Jr. was let go from the Renault team, he let the FIA know that the race was fixed. Brazil 2008 was fixed. No, it wasn't. Singapore 2008 was fixed. Renault fixed the Singapore 2008 Grand Prix. Now, if I were to put this into my top 10 controversial moments in Formula 1 history, I would definitely have it near the top of the list. But because I had a rule in place where I could only mention each race once, 100 races, 100 moments, it would have been very difficult to be able to do this list if I kept talking about the same race numerous times. So that's why I had that rule in place. One race, one moment, and that's it for the countdown. But at the end of the day, minus the controversial moments, the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix is my number one pit stop blunder of all time. So that is it for this week. Next week, we go into some very scary moments with our top 10 F1 crashes. Are there any pit stop blunders that I missed that you think would be good for this list? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And join me next week for week three of my top 100 F1 moments of all time. Until then, bye-bye for now.